In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to determine the direction of a rational function as you approach from the left and the right. When working with graphs of rational functions, we can determine their direction as we approach from the left and right from the equation. First, we need to find the largest power in the denominator and determine if it is odd or even. This will tell us the direction of the graph. If the largest power in the numerator has a negative, then the graph is reflected. One important point to remember is that when we divide by smaller and smaller numbers, the results get larger. Therefore, as we approach from the left and the right, we are dividing by smaller values of x, and therefore returning larger values, creating either an upward or downward trend. Next, we will look at a specific case. When the largest power in the denominator is odd, the graph will move downwards as we approach from the left. As we approach from the right, the graph will move up. This is because as we input negative x values in an odd power, the returns are negative. Therefore, the graph trends down. When we input positive x values, an odd power returns positive x values. If the largest power in the numerator is negative, or the only value if there is no power, then this is a reflection and the graph is reflected in the x-axis. If we see here, we have two rational functions where the only difference is the negative with the second function being a reflection of the first. When the largest power in the denominator is even, you always return a positive value. Here, we have a rational function where the largest power in the denominator is even. Both negative and positive values of x will return a positive result. Therefore, as we approach from the left and the right, the graph trends upwards. If the largest power in the numerator is negative, or the only value if there is no power, then this is a reflection and the graph is reflected in the x-axis. Here is the previous rational function reflected in the x-axis. This was done by simply adding a negative to the numerator. In this lesson, you learned about the direction of rational functions and how the largest power in the denominator determines the direction by if it is odd or even. You also learned that if the numerator is negative, the function is reflected in the x-axis.